Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today, we're going to do a marathon inspired by different countries. Thank you, Greybeard, for sponsoring this marathon. Thank you so much for thinking of this. This is a great idea. Um, we're going to do, a, we have a band from Japan. We have a band from Germany. We have a band from Italy and Brazil. So I'm going to read those bands to you. But thank you so much for watching, for being here and for, you know, for liking or subscribing to the channel. So uh, so here we go. Also, if you would like to request a song or a marathon, you can do so in the description below. So here are the bands. So one, um, the first three, well, the, uh, the Japanese band is Satori. The, this band is from 1971, Satori. And we're gonna do the song, uh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. The album is called Satori. The band is called Flower Traveling Band, okay? And the song is called Satori Part 2. Then we're going to do the band from Germany, Eloy. Um, the album is Inside and the song is Inside as well. And then we're going to do here, this one I had to pull up on YouTube. This is from Italy. This band is called uh, Betty Heo, like Perigio. And uh, this is uh, Genealogia. Uh, this is from 1974, the song. So this is Italy. And then we're going to do from Brazil uh, the song. Uh, I'm sorry, the band called uh, Baca Marte from the album Depois do, Fi do Fim. And this is called Ultimo entardecer like the last um dawn uh cool awesome so thank you so much graybeard for this marathon this is going to be a lot of fun let's start with the uh japanese one first and let's see if i have mm -hmm. <laughs> okay this is all from the 70s 71 73 74 74 is as far as we go here all right so um all right let's go well thank you so much and everybody have a lot of fun and let's see where this goes can't wait The scale sounds more Hindu, like the, the doesn't sound very Japanese, like this this um uh. right instead of I 
don't know. Like, this would be like a Japanese scale, but I mean, there's like hundreds, of course, or thousands, I don't know. But it just sounds a little bit of Hindi, which is Oriental, of course, but not Japanese. But let's see where this goes. I'm just like making an observation.
Okay. All right. So I'm. I said I'm always going to be honest. Uh, the song. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my uh, my 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 dear Graybeard, but no, 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 no. It doesn't do. It doesn't. It doesn't scratch the itch. Um, on the contrary, it was. After a while, it was just like, come on, move on, move on. It's just like, um, mm -mm. no, 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 está bien, no está bien, no, no es bueno. Um, uh, it. I mean, it's interesting, but it's just like. It's seven minutes of the same, and I could have done like with some changes and it just and for the sake of making a song long is a, it's a missed opportunity for me, you know. I mean, it had some interesting stuff, but I mean, if you play this for seven minutes, uh, found it easier but yeah it's just like no you could have done so much more in seven minutes it's it's nice that it's it sounds foreign and it sounds uh it sounded much more um hindi to me and um but you can do so much more i'm uh, let's see no but you know all songs are very long in this album well, I mean, but I mean, it, it is their intention, but it just didn't work for me. I, I have to be honest. So um, now let's go to my country, Germany. <laughs> let's see if they deliver uh, something more interesting. I mean, for what it is, it's nice. It's just like after three minutes, I'm like, come on. Yeah, like it could have like lasted three minutes and I've gotten, I would have gotten the message. But uh, maybe I did not really understand the lyrics. Or I didn't really pay attention. Maybe it was necessary. So let's just give him the, the benefit of, of the doubt. So now let's go with Eloy. Um, this, this is called Inside from the uh, album Inside Year 2000. So let's see what they have. Because I know Eloy go way back to the 70s. So let's uh, listen to their um, newer stuff. Let me just check. Is that the Eloy that I know? I think, yeah, 75. So I think uh, Rudy uh, had us react to one of the 1975 albums. So that's going to be interesting to hear Eloy in the 2000s. Let's see. Let's go ahead. And here we go. sound um 
they it literally sounds from the 70s oh now the only thing i'm scared of is that this is a remaster let's see let's check because <laughs> it sounds too 70s to be from 2000 let's see eloy inside because i this has happened to me before Aha, yeah 1973 of course so yeah sometimes um um uh sometimes um spotify gets the years way way wrong it's like no way is this 2000 it just sounds out of time so this is 1973 so here we go now it makes sense i was like this sounds a hammond you know keyboard and uh, why would they be using this but i mean if if they still use this stuff it's amazing but it just sounds like an older recording so i'm happy i looked it up so awesome <laughs> the harmonic minor scale when he was like the solo he was like and i don't have a cutout so i can't really solo but it's like like richie blackman used to do this Instead of using the pentatonic scale, and here comes the melodic, like the melodic minor. So that's kind of cool that he was doing that, um, because that's incorporating classical elements into the music. So that was kind of cool. Let's go back. I 
I take your hands Feel your breath And know that I Won't stay alone anymore Listen to it again, folks. It had literally an underlying, like... Oh, yeah. Had that Phantom of the Opera, like... But it did not, not like, only, like, half, like... Like, instead of like, the full, like, listen to it again. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I was hallucinating. But this was very good. It was more, it was, it had a lot more play to it. I loved it. I don't know. It was just uh, better than the first one. The first one was just, I'm so sorry to say, but it was pretty terrible. This one was more like, progressive it had its parts it reminded me again of uh other progressive bands even though the first one was pretty original that i have to say it was very unique so we have to give some good points as well uh but uh of course eloy is like just like i mean it's a progressive rock band and not because they're from germany no it doesn't have anything to do with it but um, this was a great track, very interesting, nice improvisation, uh, nice ideas, and uh, really cool. Now, we're going to go to Italy, another country a Greybeard and I are familiar with, also with the language. Um, we both speak Italian, we both speak, I think Greybeard, Greybeard speaks ein bisschen Deutsch, uh, ich glaube. Um, uh, a little bit of German and uh, but of course Italian as well so this is um, the band uh, Perigeo um, okay and In Vino Veritas uh, and then the song is called Genealogia 1974 let's go and let's check it out this is on YouTube so if the sound is a little bit off it's because it's youtube it's because we're using spotify against youtube so you might hear a little bit of difference in in uh, quality but well it doesn't matter here we go Ooh. i'm along for the ride <laughs>
what I'm looking for, you know, that's what I'm looking for. Give me jazz fusion all day from any country and I love it. It's just, just listen to the, chords prog the chord progression, listen to the whole thing.
No, 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 no. That guitar player has to stick to his day job. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. He was just like, it was just awful. It was just awful. They had this beautiful sax taking a solo, playing nice scales, and then this guy just like ruined the whole experience. Um, no. I'm not even going to demonstrate it. Everybody can play fast and dirty and just like random notes. It's not good. I'm sorry. Um, no, 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 no. I mean, listen, listen. I mean, whoever finds this beautiful... This is okay. stuff he was doing before this like it's just not pretty and then i mean if you're gonna play fast and play clean you know it's i'm sorry i don't mean to be picky but i am you know <laughs> song this was a great song but i they have sh they should have stuck to the sax the sax should have taken that solo the guitar player had no business taking that solo he was just like like when like noodling just like noodling around he was not saying anything it was just notes random notes and they were not even in the chord progression it was just clashing so yeah i'm sorry but that's uh but i love the song i love the i'm so used to like guys you know alan holdsworth aldi miola um guthrie Gouven, greg howe and then when you hear some something like this it's just like nah no no you can't <laughs> yeah. you know as and as a guitar player you have to be able to critique when someone is just like i guess the intention was good but he is not ready for that kind of solo. Not, not those chord progressions. And don't play at a speed that you can't, you know, it's just sounded like, like, like very dirty. So, and I'm not trying to be an asshole, but it's true, you know. So now we're going to Brazil. And this is basically the longest song of them all. So this is called... Baca Marte, Ultimo Entardecer, and this is from the um, album uh, Depois do Fim. This is from 1983. Wait a minute. 1983. Didn't um, Gravy tell me? Let's see. Mm, okay, so maybe they got it wrong because Gravy told me this is. 1974 so i just i'm just i'm gonna trust obviously gonna trust Cra graybeard on this um yeah so i'm sure they got the 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 year wrong here on spotify the boys do fim deposit oh okay Wait a minute. Give me a second. Ah, ultimo entardecer. Okay, here we go. We got it. Okay. Okay, let's go. Nine minutes, 30 seconds. Here we go.
O sangue brota no horizonte A vida estampa na rua As almas se trancam nos corpos Que louco se atira a lua O sangue brota no horizonte A vida estampa na rua As almas se trancam nos corpos Que louco se atira a lua
Perfect. I loved every. Um, I loved that every song had something different, and a different vibe, and a different um, musical aspect. They were not all prog. There were some jazz elements there. For example, in the Italian song, then the German one was more progressive. This was more. Uh, I would say. There was a little bit of prog in there. I mean, the keyboard sounded very cool. The arpeggios, very sweet. Um, the guitar player also wasn't my favorite. I just don't like when um, dirty playing. It's just something that I really, uh, I don't know. I just don't like it. Um, uh, I could demonstrate you, but I don't want to make the, uh, the video too long. But the first song had its um now that i think about it it was different so um i just like that the whole concept that graybeard thought of is that every song you know is from a different country and has different elements so maybe i'm being too judgmental um but i mean uh so the first one maybe was a little bit too long the second one was i really loved it not that it's because it's german uh then the third one was great. I loved it, except the guitar solo was, I think they should have kept the, the sax there and not just like put random notes in. And the fourth song, it was just beautiful. I mean, I guess the guitar was a little bit, you know, excited and uh, was playing um, some passages and they were not, you know, as clean. But well, you know, you can't, but overall, the marathon is beautiful because it just shows um, different, you know, countries and their different musical inspirations and ideas. And it overall, it's a great experience. And thank you, Greybeard. And sorry for me being so critical, but you know, I I'm always like that. You know, in every song, if something sounds kind of off, uh, I'm gonna call it out. Um, I hope Alexia is the same, but I guess we haven't really heard too much music that's where that I mean we have done some videos where we're like like you know. Um but it's very rare, you know, when we when we criticize. But uh but I just like to be honest. I don't why I don't wanna say that everything is great because it's not, you know, you can't 
uh, that would be not a truthful reaction or analysis or whatever you know I'm doing uh, because it is a reaction but I'm also being you know analytical and a lot of people maybe are not do like that but I like to be you know so um, but overall this was a great idea it was great to have four different um, countries and maybe we could like do this again you know maybe some uh, I, I recommend you, uh, Greybeard, if you love guitar playing and you want to hear it crystal clean, crisp, fast, and wonderfully played, listen to Strunz and Fara. Holy moly. That's guitar playing just perfect. And they're fast and they're clean and the, every note is hit on the... Like you... So... Maybe we could do something like Spain and maybe Turkey and Africa. And, you know, I mean, we can just like do endless marathons of this. But um, but yeah, I do recommend you listen to some Strunz and Fara and maybe some Rodrigo and Gabriela from Mexico. A wonderful duet uh, who play like like Novo Flamenco because the guy is very much a metal guitar player who became a flamenco guitar player and the girl Gabriela she just shreds but she's just like rhythm like like there's a rumba I'm fantastic so uh those I recommend to you Greybeard and everybody else that's watching um just like my two cents to like amazing guitar playing very very clean I'm just a clean frequent because it it it, it took me years to get to a certain cleanness and i so i want that cleanness when i listen to music as well so thank you so much graveyard for this marathon this was amazing thanks everyone for watching and i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one take care guys <laughs>